Hey, you guys, Krim Jackson, you are live on the set, and I'm going to take you around the world with me. Live my dream as a minimalist CEO, turning my clients' dreams into reality is what I do, showing that success is truly, truly for everyone. Hey, you guys, I've got new shows weekly. Stay tuned and live your best life. Best life. Best life. What's up, you guys? It's Kareem Jackson. You are live on the set. Hello, hello out there. Hello, world. I help woke entrepreneurs to minimize their cluttered lifestyles, to outsource their business processes, to make more money and live the dream life they've always dreamed of while they do it. I'm the minimalist CEO, and you guys are here because you saw the post, you saw the banner. Today, we're talking about outsourcing music. I've got two and possibly three guests today. I've got one black producer from America who came to the Philippines to shoot his video. Um, his name is Henry Johnson. I've also got Bronco De Niro, who is a Tanzania brother who went to Philippines and shot his video with his little homies. And I've got Blackapino in the back of the house, you guys, a surprise guest who shot a video, who is an artist abroad and is actually just living his dream life. He never even went back home. He decided to go ahead and stay in the Philippines and be a musician, you guys. So if you guys are looking about outsourcing your business, about growing your business, that's what we're talking about today, especially if you guys are into music and there's no thresholds anymore. So that means the small guys like me, like maybe you can now get the benefits that the big guys used to get when they outsource. I do have brother here, right here with me. Um, you guys, you guys met this guy before. He's in the United States, you guys. Really phenomenal. He came to the Philippines. His dream. He's in the music. He has Ito Records, you guys. And without further ado, you guys, I want to introduce you again to brother from Ito Records, you guys. This is brother Henry Johnson. Henry, what's up, man? You are live on the set. How are you, brother? How you doing? I am great, brother. How you doing? I am good, man. I'm good. I'm so glad to have you back. It's really good to see you again, man. Good to see you. I'm glad that you're doing good. You're back in the States right now. Doing that grind, making those dollars so you can outsource and get your business going back in the <laughs> Philippines, I heard, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> First and foremost, uh, Brother Kareem, I just want to tell you thank you for inviting me on your show. I have a very busy schedule. Uh, I took some time off just to uh, talk to, uh, to the folks uh, well, that uh, follow your show. I think well, of course I, you're busy. You, you, you're making things happen, brother. Yeah, thank you, brother. God bless you, man. It, it all starts from hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we talked about uh, sacrifice, what are you waiting to sacrifice? Like every day, I, I, I have no day off, man. Right? It's constant work, right? Because if you want to build a dream company, you have to build it on not just hard work. 24-7, I'm, I'm busy. I only respond to uh, messages that get my attention because in life, they say, when you're going somewhere, you work with people with, with like minds and you cut off those who don't have the same mindset. Let's just tell them a little bit. Tell everybody about how you came to be, how you even heard about the Philippines to outsource. How did you go from the States to even think about artists abroad, whereas most folks can't even get the artist in the, you know, the artistry in the States going? How did you even think about that? First and foremost, the uh, Philippines is a uh, second home. Like I always say, uh, Liberia's first home in the United States, right? They're giving like the ratio and stuff like that. <laughs> but I got, I got started in the Philippines. Um, the first step was knowing the culture, right? Ever since I was a kid, growing up here in America, um, one school, I've always been attracted to the Asian culture. And, 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 and I find that the Asian culture is a lot closer to that of West African culture. I will not talk for the entire continent, just West Africa. And, and, and given that, that factor, um, I've been interested in places like Thailand and Philippines from little, very little, and doing research and stuff like that. And, and later on, I found myself in, in the Philippines. But well, my first time was Thailand, all right? I met this kid. Kot Nepot, he's one of um, one of the best young Thai filmmakers in in, 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 um, in Thailand, and I was even honored for him to invite me to the Thai Parliament just to sit in and listen to like uh, lawmakers and stuff like that. But the cut, long story short, I got started in the Philippines when I uh, my second time to Thailand, and I got, I'm, I'm a big guy on networking, and I and I was like, Yo, Jay, I'm here in Thailand, I'm I'm shooting sure a film in Thailand. How can I um, come to the Philippines for us to work together on my music video? Because myself, I'm, I'm an artist, but I'm trying to stay with my and focus more on the uh, growing my own company and stuff like that. So I talked to uh, uh, Jimmy Ramirez, and he was a really humble guy, and through our interaction, talking, and one thing that led to the next, and I um, 
was able to fly to the Philippines from uh, Bangkok, Thailand, and uh, we connected. And afterwards, we, we you know one thing led to the next. Where are you because at? we have a pesos. So, uh, given that context, right? Half a million pesos is not to brag. Given that context, here in the states, half a million I, pesos. If we was to translate that in 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 in, 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 in like bearing money or uh, and that, that's a lot of money. It's like ten thousand dollars, right? But when I was spending that, it looks like breeze, right? It was like man, right? But over there, overseas in the Philippines, like a lot of money. Up, I see Bronco now. I see you now. We see you now, Bronco. Bronco is here, you guys. What's up, brother? What's up? How you doing, Bronco? So cool, so cool. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning, good morning, man. You guys, Bronco De Niro, you guys, is here. He's live on the set, you guys. Bronco is a brother from Tanzania, so actually shooting in the Philippines yeah. is not cheaper for him. <laughs> so so but but he's gonna give you an example if you know if you were paying in dollars what it would cost you he shot this at their at their bungalow man he he, he had a house party type old school vibe to it and of course he's the only brother in the whole damn video i think right oh besides your brother he's the backup the the, the extra there's, there's some black extras but he really outsourced his dream, you guys. He really got his dream video done. It's a great song. Well, you tell him about it. How, how'd you do it, brother? How'd you pull this off, man? Uh, well, um, since I've been here a couple of years, you know, you, you get to know people, you meet people around. So I um, meet a couple of uh, rappers, you know, one known as uh, Aurelius, the man, my homeboy from Sneak28. Um, and then we linked up with uh, EJ, He's from Jersey, you remember EJ, the Jersey boy. Uh, so since like uh, we all into rap music, and uh, so we decided to make a song, you know, establish a little bit of feature. We got a couple other songs coming up. So we started with this, uh, Hakuna Matata. It's in Swahili, my native language, which actually means uh, no worries. So uh, we got together, we recorded it at uh, Homeboy Studio prepared. And then after that, you know, just the links, people that know people that know people. And then we made the, the video happen. Mostly it wasn't that much importantly, uh, as you say, because um, we knew great uh, cameramans and editors. And uh, much shout out to the guy that directed the Hakuna Matata video, Ben Regala. He's a very good uh, cinematography. I love his eye, his uh, vision, his editing is all good. and. The price is very reasonable like he's a big uh, photographer and cinematographer up here in the philippines and that uh, would uh we'll still go ahead and make uh, and walk with him so yeah welcome back brother henry how you doing man yeah. i'm good brother sorry uh, i think it was in uh, network activity right oh it's okay you know we live we know how it is um henry i want you to meet bronco de Niro. bronco de Niro, meet henry and hey, bronco de Niro, you in the philippines or what yeah bronco's here in the philippines man look you got frozen there a little bit yeah a little bit of a setup you know for home studio Streaming okay. recording and me myself uh, get to practice some uh, music. And I asked um, Henry this earlier. I want to ask you, Bronco, real quick. How did you even think about doing music in the Philippines as opposed to Tanzania? And how did you connect with these guys that you're working with? Well, um, I came up here like initially for studying to get my degrees in communication. And since I've been here, you know, I've uh, been an artist since back home. I've always been in the rap scene in the hip-hop scene in the entertainment industry uh work with a couple of uh entertainment companies but home uh, festivals zanzibar international film festival bagamoyo cultural festival and uh, some other uh, entertainment uh organizing events so when i came out here so i was literally just drawn into the same uh, company same organization some i, I just kind of surround myself with the same people that um I can share skills with them. So the moment I stepped in Malolos, I asked for a recording studio. And uh, some guy took me to a recording studio here in Grand Royal by Brian Victor as a home studio. And then from there, you know, started meeting local artists in the scene of here in Malolos and Mulakan at large. Uh, Mulakan Finance Production, you know, they give me, put me on gigs. I've been doing performances since. Uh, 2016. So I met a lot of rap artists out here, music artists in general, singers, rappers, entertainers, and Malolos and Bulacan at large. So when I started vibing with uh, Aurelius, 
so we just like why don't we like we've been together for a long time you know we've been vibing for a long time let's just make a song and see what comes out of it so in the clips of talking all that actually then uh, we met uh, the ej from jersey new york is a phil m filipino american he's a filipino that but he grew up in america new jersey so he came back here and he's also into rap so we linked up we made the song hakuna matata kaiser wilhelm have that house also in a little bit of finance now smoking they helped us with the uh, catering service foods we had the great barbecues on the video shoots so you got all these folks yes you done left now if you guys are in america or africa or abroad or whatever this brother came to asia came to the philippine islands he hooked up with all these asian artists right um he got food sponsors cutting sponsors they got sponsors to shoot this video which is of course hard as hell to do right then they shot the video so the total approximately maybe up to like 30k pesos transportation yeah. accommodation food uh, talent fee everything all together wind up maybe yeah 30 to 50k you guys so what he's saying you guys if you're listening in the states right now you guys he is saying between 700 and 1000 dollars that's what he's saying Hakuna Matata I'm a scared with a lot of people to walk and the one Hakuna Matata I'm a scared with a lot of people to walk and the one Hakuna Matata I'm a scared with a lot of people to walk and the one Hakuna Matata these people be in swimming pools full of drama Sip my tea, room a ganja Hit my leaf, I split Tyreek I split my cheek, then I'm on it Another mission, like a pen and a submission Every written composition got a vision Don't just watch, come and listen Toss the rock, buzz hit him On the clock, has a rhythm Off the block, has a wisdom Chillin' Came to shine, don't hate the player, hate the game design Asian flavor, pay to rhyme, make my paper, take what's mine Chasing pavements, make them shrines, drop it to the day I die Floor fan, be your copy, when the door slammed in it stop me Got the floor plan for the lobby, a lot of tours planned for the posse If I pour that, getting saucy, got me Hakuna Matata, Tamami, and Ducha Gabbana Katoom in the commas in the booth, I'm a Ghana With the crew, it's either doom with the sign of juice And the gotcha infuse the truth in the roots Yo, I'm in the room, two in the chakras, I'm dry Combined with the light, the mind, and write a final red Like I'm giant, a riot for me and the tribe This is the vibe with the music grinder We use the high, lift you off your toes to the sky tree Hakuna Matata I'ma scare with a lot of nerd, they're listening to walk and the wanna Hakuna Matata I'ma see with a lot of nerd, they're listening to walk and the wanna Hakuna Matata I'm a school of law, nah, they didn't know why, kinda why now Who know my doctor? Kuna matari gani zanziba yeah. Watoto zui zungu ka yeah. Gimi waka zungu shot uh. Paka watu tuwe high from 5 for 7, 5 for 9 uh. Big lolo 9, 9 yeah. 3k now we vibing Super north we up so high uh. Uh. Oh, put it to the wall, touch down near yeah. His swagger zip so strong And I'm cool now my daughter Yes, I got paid to spend it all oh. Wake and bake, double the hustle in the door I'm a daughter Bunch of pretty girls out here yeah, yeah. Oh, she just said my gun down by by it I'm cool now my daughter Mary J, bottles draining, booty shaking, man Shit, I'm cool now my daughter Touchdowns on you for a minute South Peak is on the six I'm cool now my daughter Pull up at Kendall for a minute But it's all loose, pass out of the bitch Hustle, swap, drip so hard I got the cake, she craving me Hakuna Matata 
and you a man Hold this day and you will see behind the PC as you see All the payments, all the family got me chasing Only blaming, killing demons in my head I'm stuck around my bed Choosing beat and go to bed Gusto ko nang lumipad Iiwan ako na mausok at magulo Si dadab Kahit lang ako at kahit na sinako mapadpala Na akong pakit kahit amos ko na ay sagat Si Kaya Nang magkakamali ko sa akin ay bayad Lang ko na ang mali ako'y nasa tama ng edad Dami kong gusto pero ang sumayayak Yung nga daw ko'y nakadamit Pero ang realidad ay yun ba? Ako na mata, no worries I've been in the scene for a while for my mama She's having no drama We've been through the worst, now we're taking this piece I came from the bottom, I'm calling the chick It's tired of not alone when I hand back up I would kind of make Ako na matata Kapos so say my body baby Ako na matata I'm with my crew I didn't die to go sweet Ako na matata Ako na matata Ako na matata Ako na matata What's up, you guys? How you doing, Bronco? Brother on um, black, 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 all my friends here are mostly Filipinos, and like when we are talking, I don't really understand it. when it comes to like the hip hop community, when it comes to hip hop and stuff like that. I don't really understand them, so I decided to um, <laughs> learn the language, yeah, because if you, you gotta be like, uh, if you go to Rome, do what Romans do, if you want me to understand, you speak mm -hmm. my language. So I decided to learn Tagalog, but I'm not really fluent in it, but I can eat. I have a uh, uh, Filipino crew here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Shout out to Daniel, shout out to Jai, shout out to Hema. Yes, like, yes. <laughs> they help me a lot to translate most of my uh, English to like translate the English to Tagalog. And when they teach me, I just learn it. And that is how basically I learn Tagalog through music. So I actually do a lot of all my songs is Tagalog. Like I have this coming song which is strictly Tagalog. I call it Tagay Tayo. Being a farm in the bill with it. See? Walk your boys in the bill with it. See? See? Yeah, Ibi Gay Mukariyanko. Puro kayo pera Bakit kayo ganito pare dahil lang sa pera Sigla ka pinuto, hindi dapat ganito Tara matmur ka lang tayo Sa mga si marijuana ko Bullet, bullet ka na Yeah Bullet, bullet ka na Kasi sobra good ka na Yeah Kasi sobra good ka na yeah, yeah, you know, waste time, I wanna fast It's not a movie to say the cast Think we bound to the next page, we'll gas fast on our way home Yeah, we will stay close and hard and like a flink stone Flink stone, you know what we do for living right? When a storm come, I will stay cool, cause my name is Black Capino We will come, I will stand fan, my sons will be a lullaby Your cash will be my benefits, and you could call me pair Bullet, bullet gonna Yeah Bullet, bullet ka na Kasi sobra good ka na Yeah, kasi sobra good ka na Lahat na papaikot na pera Bawat bukan na pipigay pela Pag wala kang pela, wala kang kwenta Pag nakatali code kay ikay tiritira Vice ganda ay showtime Pero ako kilala Sabi niya ay siya ay ay daligan Pilipina Nagandahan ako Kaya ko siya kinilala Siya ay daw si Magda Tagay tayo that's it. That, that's it. That's what, I really want these folks to understand, you guys, that the awesome thing is that these brothers, these are all brothers, including myself, who have outsourced what they're doing. They're not able to do it where they're from. I'm not in the States. And brother Henry, you can meet um, Black Apino there right quick. Um, Henry is from, from uh, actually, he's in the United States right now, but he's actually from uh, Liberia. 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 
They all have shot videos in the Philippines. They've outsourced. You guys heard, I'm going to talk about Black Tino, Black Tino real quick on his prices, but you heard 10K US dollars going crazy, buck wild, showing off for Henry and his video shoot. And then of course, you heard 1,000 or less US dollars from Bronco and his little homies doing their little shoot, but, that, but you saw the video was tight, right? And then Black Tino, yeah. we're not going to his, but he got a kick-ass video, um, and that video is awesome. But Black Apino, brother, tell us about your video. How much did that video cost you to do? Actually, if I'm, I should tell you how much it cost. Mostly, like I have a manager here. He's a Filipino. He's a great guy, Georgie Seven. I love that guy. I don't even call him my manager. I call him my brother. Yeah, because he, he, he understands the black culture a lot and then mostly he, he saw my talent, he loved me and then he he introduced me to some great guys here and then he showed her the course and I, I don't really know exactly how much it's called, but if I should give you a rough sketch for the Pagaitayo video that it's got, I think it's gonna cost almost like uh it's not uh, like almost two hundred K, yeah. So then you guys understand that what he's saying is he spent about two thousand dollars. No, four thousand dollars. He spent yeah. about four thousand bucks, you guys. I'm yeah. just trying I know you guys I'm not I'm asking private video. stuff. I'm just trying to give black folks in the States. They don't they don't believe me, brothers. So I gotta bring the real Negroes to, to verify <laughs> that I'm telling them they need to freaking park stores and get here to get their videos done and of course, you know, I know that Bronco's video, man, I love that video, Bronco, by the way. I love that video. I know all the folks in it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I wasn't invited. Yeah, I, I, I love that video. I was shooting it, though, so it was kind of my fault. I guess I could have went, you know, but but I you know, I heard last minute, but it was tight. Everybody's representing. Bronco had yeah. sponsors. Uh, if you guys remember um, the video from Henry, you guys saw his video. He had car rentals. He put all his cars show off for a little bit. This is tight. Like the you guys are going to see later. So, why did you guys choose to The reason why I chose the Philippines is why I was doing this back home. I was assigned in, in Guinea and I also a hip hop artist. And uh, I was doing this way back when I was successful in it. But when I traveled here, I realized that the culture in Philippines, when it comes to music, Filipino people love music a lot. And if you put or you channel your mind to music and you want to put everything like, let's say me being a sound engineer, I create a lot of beats here. I give it to folks that I know they are really good uh, with the talents when it comes to hip hop and singing. I made a beat and give it to them for free so that I can promote their music too. But what made me choose to be here is because Filipino people are really, really, they patronize everything anybody do. That is one thing I realized. And when you do anything here, they support a lot. It takes a little bit, a lot of work, but in Philippines, you can just go kaboom. So I took that advantage and I uh, shoot the video here. And uh, one time I wasn't aware, I got invited in a group called Black Apino fans. They've already created a group. I, I didn't know anything about it. And then they invited me when I joined it. I was really proud of myself that I can't guys to look up to me and the Filipino uh, youth who look up to me when it comes to the music and they chat me and I, I'm not that kind of a, a pride person. Like I chat them back and I tell them that uh, hey, I, I, will, I will support you. If you're good and you're talented, I will support you. And they are shocked and they say, oh my God, I can't believe Black Apino is like that kind of shit. Like, I say, yeah, I will support you. I'm not a, like a, a, a proud, boastful guy like that. I believe in like, uh, like if you see somebody having a talent, I believe in helping each other, like brothers helping each other and pushing them forward. Because I didn't get that opportunity for like some of the known artists when I'm starting music, you try to holler them, nobody minds you. Even until now, nobody will mind you. But I realized that I didn't, I wasn't happy when they didn't mind me. So I don't want to, I don't want to do the same thing to the upcoming music. I don't want to put the spirit up. I, I really want to rise their spirit up so that they will be able to achieve their dream as a musician. Your whole thing was that you got a lot of great support. So that yeah. really was your big thing. What about you, Bronco? Man, what made you choose the Philippines? I mean, your stuff is nice. You don't brought all the homies, you know. <laughs> you got a whole clique. Well, I guess both yeah. of you guys got a whole Filipino clique. Well, well, I think it was a bit challenging. Um, the most challenging part for me was the, the language that I use in my songs. I usually like I'm more comfortable with English. 
from like I like the rapping in English, the rhyme with it, like the, it sounds more good to me than in my native language altogether. So if I like mix it English and Swahili, it sounds more better, like more unique. You know, you have two languages. In the same song. So back home, it was usually when I take it to the radios, they were like, oh, come on, uh, it's all English. Nobody's going to understand you or that, da, 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 da. And I was like, come on, guys, like you pay Rick Rose 300 million to come and perform the same English songs. And uh, playground is full. And you're telling me because I'm doing it in English because I'm a native and people won't take me. They won't uh, respond to me because they'll feel like I'm being bougie and all that. I'm not using the native language. I'm using uh, English language, all that, 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 all that uh, primitive African mindset. You feel me? So I was like, okay. Yeah. So there came a point I was like, I was like, okay, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just going to go on with any other thing because I'm most, I was more interested like in organizing events and that dealing with events and festivals and things like those. So I kind of kept the music aside. I recorded like 10 tracks, never released one, maybe like just in SoundCloud. <laughs> then when I kept here 2016, you know, just it kept like, I was like, okay, out here, you know, don't understand. It's not like they won't tell me the same thing that I was told in Motherland. So I was like, yeah, give it a try. And then when like, linked up with Aurelius and uh, EJ and Sub, you know, the chemistry just got together and we're like, yo, let's do a song. Yeah. Do this. And I try to tell folks that I know too, that at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, the truth is that I don't dislike it. I just want it to where you have, you have a plethora of different songs on your album. I don't mm -hmm. dislike, you know, Busta Rhyme. I love Busta Rhyme. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, because I, I can hear his word, bro. I can hear and understand. I, you mean the you articulation, you mean? Okay, well, but yes, that's probably true as well. A lot of folks that don't understand the, the value of it, they don't know that you can achieve your dream, you can you can, you can can grow your, your business, you can get your dream, you can have your video, and a lot of folks don't get it. So I'm glad that you guys have been here. Um, I love that video, Henry. It's real cool. And a lot of folks don't yeah. understand, man. I like the concept that, a lot. That, you know, it could, do, it could be way better. I moved to the Philippines, we're going to change yep, uh, <laughs> the art there. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of like, oh, we're going to get a little bit of stuff. Too much You know what I'm saying? We're going to do that. Yeah. I moved to the in two years. Move to the Philippines, we're going to change it. Yeah. When it comes down to it, you guys, you guys are living your dream. You guys, I'm a writer. At the end of the day, I'm a writer, right? Mm -hmm. I couldn't be a writer. Maybe I could, possible, but I couldn't figure it out. I was getting to that. And I just got out for it. Like, Jesus, now I can live my dream. And I did. So, me, my advice is like, don't let anybody stop you in anything you believe in and anything you want to do. Everything starts from you before the world will understand you. And don't let money be the uh, like necessarily motive of what you want to do. You can do. You can start from somewhere. You never know who's looking, and you never know who's watching. If you don't have money, we have musicians who were broke as hell, but you got good people to support them. So if you're whatever you're doing is really good, and you you you, you pursue it, and you don't give up and you still want to do it if it is music you want to do trust me i love music music will take care of you so don't worry so everything you want to do when it comes to music keep on doing that never give up i don't believe in giving up so everything you want to do when it comes to your video and like your music and your dreams it all start from you you guys both shot those very inexpensive things. And mind you, I know you have a manager. I know Bronco had sponsors that helped him out. I can't imagine being a young rapper or a young artist or, or but like you're, like you're a girl, for example, Henry. You know, you get sponsors for your video, the first freaking video. You know, folks. Of course, I'm, I'm sure you're shopping there. You're eating there. You're yeah. <laughs> that, that is that is where all the money goes, man. And sponsor your shit. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah, what about your advice, Henry? What you got to say for these folks? 
I think the first thing is sacrifice, right? Nothing will ever become a reality unless you sacrifice, right? Everything in life evolves around sacrificing, right? People might say music is just music. You got to get up one day and just do music. No, music is about spending, right? That's why I, I look at ten thousand dollars, which is like five hundred thousand pesos in the Philippines, and, and you know, and spend that. So it's all about sacrificing, right? Is and, and also about what do you want? If you come to figure out the day in your life what you want and you program it here, work to work hard towards it. If you, if you believe in the higher power, because I believe in God, believe in God, pray on it and work hard towards it. Everything and anything is possible. But it first starts in the mind and sacrificing, right? You have to make certain sacrifices, sacrifices in order for you to get somewhere. So I advise a new uh, artist coming up. Check out Egno Records. You know what I'm saying? E-T-H-N-O-R-E. C O R D. I'm promoting my company. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Check out Edgar yeah, Records. Oh, yeah. Check out Edgar Records and, and uh, send us your video. We we'll, we'll love to check out your videos and stuff like that. This is not a scammy organization. This is a real organization. I have some receipts. So check out Edgar Records. I'm not going to brag about how much I got and stuff like that, but we will be we're in the sponsoring business. We're going to sponsor artists, just artists who are willing to help themselves, not just any artist now. We're going to sponsor artists who are willing to help themselves and all of them get them somewhere. What's your advice for newbies, Bronco? Yeah, people, you know, just keep working hard. You know, keep working on your craft. Don't give up on yourself. It doesn't matter how long it takes. I started doing uh, music for the past 10 years, since 2010. Now it's 2020 uh -huh. that I'm releasing my first video. So it doesn't matter how long it takes. As, as long as you work on your craft, you practice your craft so you get to grow every day you meet new people you get new connections don't sway away from meeting people you know I got here I was able to do what I get I had to do for minimum cost by connections you know just being connected through people through you Karim you connected me through other people that they helped me out also so that's how it goes we meet new people every day we keep walking every day we keep growing every day never give up we don't know when you're gonna make it so if you give up today you'll be killing yourself it's a suicide giving up on your dream is basically suicide especially at this century you know everything is on the uh, internet everything is digital right now i think right now it's really time for all of us you know to push hard on our talent and what we believe in and what we want to accomplish and come together you know outsource meet new people features and all that you know teamwork makes dream work right um you guys i appreciate it man i'm glad that you guys were here i'm gonna let you go i know i know you gotta go so i appreciate you guys being here man i appreciate it man and again thanks again for being here thanks for showcasing thanks for all the insights email me questions at ask at cream again cream back live on the set the minimum ceo i love you guys very much